If there is one thing I exist to do on this earth, it is to try to get views and to get subs. My main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> but right now, both of those things are severely down on the Quite YouTube channel. Not even clickbaiting my TikTok videos as ironic compilations has been able to bring my channel back to life. So in order to reclaim my former glory, I must put my nose to the ground and stay on that ground. I must search high and low for something to leech off of and get views from. And I've decided to begin my search with life hacks. Spray paint your teeth white! Yeah! It's a tale as old as time. Swindlers trying to share products and methods that they claim are cure-alls. Snake oil, John Bergman chiropractic, and now life hacks. Covered by the likes of Slazo, Kapakaju, and 37-year-old American basketball player Drew Gooden before me, life hacks have had an impact on this world that cannot be understated. Enter 5-Minute Crafts, a YouTube giant sitting at 40 million subscribers. PewDiePie, T-Series, you think those guys are fighting for the number one spot? Then you haven't seen anything yet. These guys are stacking growth as fast as these fuckers without the need for Mr. Beast or the entire nation of India behind them. They are creeping up in sub count right under everybody's nose. And I want some of that good number growth too, which is the only thing I find validation in. Come with me, fellow brainlets, as we embark on a journey to create our own terrible, terrible life hacks. But the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and the first step, in this case, is learning. We need to first understand what makes a terrible life hack truly great, so that way we can spread the most useless things imaginable to as many people as possible. And what better master to learn from than the guys who drop 10 to 20 minute long life hack compilation videos like four times a day? Five minute crafts themselves. After we learn all we can, then we'll make our own. Okay, it's life hack time. 24 outfit hacks that may save your life. Holy shit, I want my life saved. I remember a while ago, I looked at life hacks with Brandon and Diesel once, and if my memory recalls correctly, it's fucking shit. Also, I'm not going to be listening to these with sound. I'm not, I'm not doing that to myself. The music on all of these things is exclusively shit, so no, nah, nice try. Also, I don't know where my headphones are. Jeans hacks, oh boy. Wait, what is that? I've never seen. That, that looks like it would get really uncomfortable after a while. Little known life fact is that the leading cause of teenagers in the US today is actually jeans rubbing up against on their shoes and making them all uncomfortable near their ankles. Wait, 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 what the fuck? Another thing is I don't want to get claimed for the music, so I, I ain't doing that shit. Let's see what they got. Ah, oh, the jeans are too big? Nice. Boil 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, that, yeah, that, boil your fucking jeans. Why not? Why, why not? Why not? Couldn't you just do the same thing by washing it once? Jesus Christ. Nice. Ah, ah, you peed yourself. Ah, sick. Okay, okay. What? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Was there like a piss stain or something there? Like, I don't, I'm not really sure what you were taking off. I just know that they had a wet napkin when they pressed it down on there. I don't know what I missed. I can't tell what's fucking happening. Okay, a ruler. Okay. Um, needles. More needles, water, bleach. Ah, uh, that's that's a dead meme. You can't put that in there. Now I'm demonetized because I said the word bleach. What were you thinking? Wait 30 seconds. Dip your pants in bleach. Oh okay, yeah, just dip your pants in bleach. I'm I'm still not entirely sure what this is supposed to accomplish. That looks fucking terrible. Oh my god. The actress wearing those pants looks physically in pain. Like she know she knows she knows that this is terrible. <laughs> oh no, my bag of groceries broke. What will I do? Ah. Ah, that's what you're gonna genius. Make fucking a bag out of your pants. Don't just get- Oh my god! That- <laughs> Just get a fucking backpack at that point. If you just bring a backpack with you to the store, or better yet, just bring your own more secure bags, you will look 20 times less retarded. That's a life hack. See, we're already making our own. This shit right here is not a life hack. This is a sin. What the fuck? Like, I've genuinely, like, the last time I looked at life hacks was, like, a half a year ago. Maybe this is, like, less than standard. Like, maybe this is, like, pretty commonplace, and there's way stupider shit than this. But this is, God, I have been out of the loop. Holy shit. Ah, a reverse one of the other. Ah, water. Ah, nice. Wait, no, I saw, wait, what the fuck? This was posted, um, like, 40 minutes ago or some shit? Yeah, it was posted, like, 40 minutes ago. I've seen this life hack made fun of in a fucking Drew Gooden video. Damn, bro, not cool. Okay, rip in the pants, what are you gonna do? Ah, you're gonna make another rip. Uh, ah, genius! What? What? What the fuck? What? Please don't tell me you're gonna make this into a top. Oh, you made it into- No! 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 <laughs> 
smearing off. Perfect. Smells bad. Okay, you know, the perfect thing? Let's waste perfectly good vodka on clean- on making my pants smell nice. My pants smell like shit, because I took a shit in them. You know what smells way better than shit? Alcohol. Jeans hacks. More jeans. Oh my god, do I even want to know? I don't want to know, but I'm gonna find out anyways. Okay, yep, just tie your pants jeans together. Alright, tie them into the thing. Ah, it's another bag. Why do you need to make a bag out of jeans so bad? J just get a gym bag! You can carry more shit in a gym bag! It's probably more secure than this! Oh my god, and, y and you just wasted a perfectly good pair of jeans. Your jeans are too big again? I feel like most of these are gonna take more than five minutes. Find your size without fitting. I- I- I can see this one kind of working, but I don't- I don't- I feel like that's not a one-size-fit-all thing. Like, if you saw that mugshot of the dude that has a neck wider than his fucking head, then that probably- that rule probably doesn't fit for him. Okay, um, there's gum on your thing? Oh, oh put an ice cube on it. Great. I mean, I guess? Sure. Ah, you broke the button. <laughs> you just, yeah, use a hammer to repair your clothes. Genius. Fucking genius. You're making the belt smaller. Sick. Okay, listen, I wouldn't- I wouldn't- is that on you? Are you doing that while it's on you? Please tell me you're not wearing that. You are doing it while you're wearing it. That- that's- that's a safety hazard! I've had enough clothes. I think I learned- uh, I think I learned enough about clothes. 22 phone hacks to save your time and money. Tell me what I'm learning today, 5 Minute Crafts, with your square aspect ratio. Phone case ideas. Ruin your phone. Just fucking pour paint inside the speakers so it breaks your phone. And you never have to worry about your phone breaking again, because it's already fucking broken. What even co what constitutes a life hack is my question. It's supposed to make your life easier, I guess? Like, cosmetic things count as life hacks? The terminology of the English language has evolved and moved on without me. Phone case, phone case, phone case. Ah, not. What? Ah! I hate this so much. I fucking hate this so much. I can't wrap my head around it. Like, I don't, I don't know if I want to. I, no, I definitely don't want to, but I, I have to try because I need to make one of these. I need to create, I need to invent a life hack. Timestamps, timestamps, tangled cables. Oh boy, this one, this, this one will probably be really helpful. Yeah, no, don't care anymore. 20 crazy yet delicious food hacks. Let's go for it. Five minute crafts, don't let me down. All right, heavy cream, heavy cream, sugar, activated charcoal. What, what? Can you eat? Oh yeah, you can. Mix that shit up. Mix that shit up. Ah, it looks like tar oil now. There's this video on the unusual videos Twitter account. It was either unusual videos or videos folder. I don't, I don't fucking remember. But it's just it's just a Mario edit of like a dude jumping into like a fucking tar pit. Once it's all mixed up, the tar looks like that shit. <laughs> Dry ice, okay. Now it looks like a safety hazard. Now it really looks like a safety hazard. Holy shit. You, oh damn, if you make enough of that stuff, you could probably hide a body in there. <laughs> what was the one movie where like the dude who like wakes up as he's like being buried alive in the concrete? I don't remember if it was a TV show or a movie. I just remember when I was younger, I just fucking saw that shit and I was so confused. Let's sit. I don't know if you want to let that sit, otherwise it's probably going to come alive. No, no, don't tell- That's not- That's not ice cream! That's the souls of the damned! You're eating the undead! That's not cool, bro! Imagine- ugh, Look at that face, look. How is she? She looks genuinely excited. I, I'm, in, I'm in pain. I'm in pain! I'm in pain! This is not cool, bro! Bleach. Ah, oh, that's great. Perfect for consumption. Pop a balloon with an orange peel. Why? I guess it's kind of neat. Is How is that a life hack though? Okay, water? Uh, oh, sriracha. Stir until it looks like blood. Okay, now it, you, we, we were trying to make it look like blood. Gotcha. Cold vegetable oil. What is this doing for you? What is this doing for you? <sighs> Alright, ketchup. Lots of ketchup. 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 Got it. Ketchup. Mm, brush that ketchup all around. Mmm, ketchup. Yeah, ketchup. Ketchup? You ever heard about this thing called ketchup? Well, let that ketchup sit. Apparently, ketchup cleans plates now. Uh, okay, okay. Infinite chocolate bar. What? I'm in distress! I'm in distress! Ah! Uh, I feel like I've seen some of these before as well. Like, I've watched one or two life hacks videos because for some reason they were in my sub box, like the one from Kappa and the one from Jubin. I'm recognizing some of the same hacks, but I feel like I'm not looking at the same compilations because I'm making this video like after they already uploaded theirs, and these compilations 
came out after the video. Frauds, frauds, they're using the same hats over again. Transparent soda? Transparent soda? You mean like Sprite or Crystal Pepsi? Okay, okay, not okay. Not okay, actually. I'm, I take that back. Not okay. Bad. Mix it around with eggs and put a lemon in it. Mix it around some more. Oh, it's purple again. Sick. And now you, now you boil it. You just fucking boil all of it. Put more eggs on it. Why not? Why not? Everybody that's involved with the creation invention of these hacks or whatever, they were too concerned with whether if they could that they never thought of if they should. It's like a Spy Kids 3 quote. Do you think God stays in heaven for fear of what he's created? Juice. Put it in a bag. Okay, so bag. More bag. Ice. Ice. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, what I've learned so far from, from these, uh, life hacks, bags, ketchup, shit background music, all of those are key. Salt, and that, kids, is how you make a pipe bomb. Now, once you shake it up, you have to throw it really quickly, otherwise it'll explode in your hand and you will die. That doesn't even look tasty! No! 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 Five ways to use ice trays? How about 3,000 ways to not use ice trays? Coffee milk. Epic. Lemon and mint. All right, empty Coke bottle. Take off the wrapper. You funnel You funnel chocolate in there. Okay, you're funneling chocolate into an empty Coke bottle. Where is this gonna go? Probably nowhere I'll like, but I'm, it's, I'm gonna find out anyways. All right, you're just trying to get it on all the edges. All the edges, gotcha. Refrigerate for one hour. All right, and then you cut it open, and you've made a chocolate bottle. It's like one of those gummy things. Nice! All right, and then you put the Coca-Cola thing back around, and it's just, it's a normal Coke bottle all over again. And you just crush it open, and you get the oven Just Give them the bag of M&M's! Just give them the M&M bag to start with! That goes against the name of the channel itself. Let's sit for one hour. That's longer than five minutes! I'm done with this shit. I'm done with this shit. I've learned everything I think I need to to make my own life hack. Uh, from what I understand, really shit background music, complete and total impracticality, and a 30% chance of instant death. Got it. Alright boys, let's get to it! All right, apologies for the audio, but I'm gonna need both hands for this one. So the idea is to make eating a uh, fucking cereal easier, but also more likely to kill you. So everybody knows that for maximum killing yourself potential, you need to put in the milk first. But to make matters worse, we're not going to use milk, we're going to use water. Water with cereal is a sin committed by the worst criminals of today. Call it post, fuck you, Matthew. All right, let's just move the laptop so I don't spill water on it. Fucking Cheerio water on my fucking laptop. Ugh. Now as you do, you just put in the water first, right? You put the water in the bowl first. Get the fuck out of here, PSVR. No one cares about you. I care about you. I lie. It's perfect, as you can see. The water that you can't see in it. It's really a good idea. It's Cheerios in water. It makes me want to die. But that's not enough for me. We're going to use the big guns. Remember, guys, bags were essential in those life hacks before. So we've got a bag and we've got our bowl, a big bowl. Fuck a bowl. I was trying to bowl a bowl. All right, nice, nice. Just going to pour some water in there. Just nurture it real nice like. Mama ain't raised no fucking quitter. Oh, uh, maple syrup. Mm, I don't know if I can show you that, but it looks like slightly stained poop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Catch up. Uh, uh, that's fucking gross. <laughs> Gatorade's like the same shit as milk, isn't it? That looks like a drug the FDA would make illegal. Just to make sure it's safe, we're gonna drop a surgical mask in there. Why be mad when you could be glad? Glad! Let's put our previous abomination into the mix. Some cough drops still in the wrappers ought to do it. More Gatorade, cause eat my ass. Now this is really just an excuse to make a big batch of G Fuel. You just nice like just dump it in there real, real, real carefully. Waste the $40. And now I think we're finally ready to die of Cheerio poisoning. Yup, good idea. I have the best ideas. Once again, I am being attacked for presenting new ideas. All right, lawyers, let's take a look at what we accomplished. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, good stuff, good stuff. Eh. Get a little more water, why not? Why why not? Fuck you, I'm done. Yeah, uh, I'm done. I'm, I'm fucking done. I'm, fu I'm fucking done. I'm wrapping this video up here. Fuck you. Press the fucking like button. If you're new, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, make a new account and subscribe again. Actually, don't do that. I'm not sure if that's against TOS. But anyways, I have a podcast with Wild Spartans and FPS Diesel called Loudmouse. We upload two new episodes every week and we're up on iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube. If you want to support the channel a little more directly, you can do so by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button and by donating $5 a month to get things like custom badges and custom emotes. It's totally optional but it helps out the channel and it's much appreciated. You can follow me on Twitter at Quite and on Instagram at Quite.png. Links to both of those in the description below. And lastly, I also have a Discord server. Link to that in the description as well if you're interested. Anyways, this has been Quite and I'm fucking done.